morning. Welcome to children's time. Was that as loud for you as it was for me? Whew. Our scripture today is from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And it says, saying words without love in them is like banging loud cymbals, clanging pots and pans, noisy gongs. And it had me thinking, what does that mean? What does it mean? Um, what is Paul trying to write in his letter to the church in Corinth when he says that? I think what he's saying is that often we use our words to say something and then our actions don't reflect exactly what our words are saying. So what does it mean to say to your sister or your brother, I love you? and then turn around and hit them, or mess up what they're coloring, or poke at their food, or what does it mean to say I love you to your dog or cat and then pull their tail or play tricks on them. Our words need to match our actions, and this is what I think Paul is trying to tell this church community, is that don't just use your words to say, I love you to each other, but show it in action. Paul goes on to talk about all the things that love is in this scripture. Love never gives up. Love is patient. Love is kind. God is love. That's how we know the most about love is through Jesus Christ, through God, showing what love can really look like. I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel like all I hear out in this world is this. <laughs> clanging loud symbols. When I want to see actions of love. You kids are so good at showing actions of love by hugging, snuggling, cuddling, caring for each other. You're, um, I've seen actions of love this winter when people have donated blankets um, for our neighbors who are unhoused or donated treats to the Humane Society or donated cookies to the food pantry or other food items. We use our actions to show love, not just our words. So this week, I want you to think of what are actions you can do to show your love. Um, and thanks for joining me in my kitchen. Bye, friends.